What's up guys, today on Stat Tech, we're gonna be going over basically how to properly loot your loot drop, search your loot drop. Before we even go into how to loot this dead fucker, why would you even want to loot a dead body in the first place? Well, the reason we go and loot these bodies, or you're the guy you killed, if you can, is because you can gain potential intel that could help benefit you as your as a soldier or an I like a guerrilla force, something that can give you intel or supplies. That's why why that's why you want to go and loot someone is they have something that you could possibly need whether it be intel, ammo, food, water. Right on. And then um, are there any like concerns or things that you should be cautious about when you're approaching a body that you think is dead? Yeah, so you're gonna wanna be cautious of your surrounding. So we also wanna be uh, aware of any potential environmental hazards as you approach the guy. You also wanna be aware of any enemy presence while you approach the guy. Because maybe you saw only one of them, but there could be more. So if you have more guys with you and you're able to have them pull security, or maybe you wait on the body for a little bit before going to approach it. Yeah, by security you mean like you should have like a lookout. That's yeah, you should have you try to have a 360 security. All right. So while two or one guy goes to search, preferably you would want at least two guys searching. All right, as you're walking up to the body, you want to make sure first thing you do is take any weapons that you can see. After you shoot them in the head, right? After you shoot them in the head. All right, after you immobilize your enemy, you want to clear any firearm that you can from the body, right? And then get that out of arm length away from them. All right, so that, whether that be kicking it away from them or just physically grabbing it, pulling it off of them. All right. You probably, how far do you want to get away from him? Far enough where you can't reach it if he's not dead. So toss it out of arm's length. All right. All right. So we're going to start from head to bottom or top to bottom on these people. So at, when you first approach your body, you have to make sure they're dead. So depending on whether or not you just came across them and you didn't kill them or you did kill them, uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure they're dead. So as you approach them, you're going to give them a little extra love. And then after that, you're going to proceed to clear the body. So about what I mean by clear the body, hopefully you have a teammate with you that can help you out during this. All right, man, if you could just stay, stand back a little bit. So there's multiple methods. First, you want to check underneath the body and you want to stand above them and you can grab them by the, sh the straps on their rig or their uh or their you know their chest their clothes and you want to pull them up clear your, your buddy's going to tell you they're, they're clear there's no trap underneath of them or if you're by yourself you can give it a quick look if there is a trap you just throw their body back down get back if it's booby trapped hopefully the body absorbs most of the explosion also, same thing with lifting them up. This is the easiest way. Check underneath of them by yourself or if you have someone else with you and you can just quickly throw them down, back off as quick as possible mm. if they got something hidden underneath of them. And this does work if they lay on their chest too, so. Yeah, if, they, if you do, is there like a explosive device underneath them? What should everyone do? Throw them back down on it and get the fuck back as fast as possible. Probably get dive on the ground or get well, down or what get back get down because most devices that blow up they blow up and out so that's why you want to throw the body on there so it absorbs the blast and that shrapnel i mean if you look at grenades grenades have like a 15 meter kill radius or it's like a five five to 15 so if you throw that body down on there it's going to absorb all that shrapnel now, that's one way of doing it. Another way you can do it is you can lay down next to the body. You can have your buddy stand off to the side. 
you're gonna grab his, you're gonna throw this leg over on this part of over his legs. You're gonna grab his shoulder sleeve, and then you're gonna lift up. Clear, clear. If there's something there, throw him down. Roll away, and hopefully, again, uh, the body will absorb most of the shrapnel or the explosion. All right. Now, when we're searching them, you want to go start from the top and work your way down. If they got a helmet on or anything like that, after you check to make sure the body is not trapped, <laughs> booby trapped or anything, you can take their hat, scrunch it a little up, make sure you don't feel anything that's not supposed to be there, like a wire or something. And some hats have those little rim around the inside where people can hide notes, shit like that. And you're gonna check that, make sure there's nothing in there. All right. Then, got a mask, pull it off. You know, we got our globe load. We're gonna be looking also for sensitive items, like maybe phones, radios, letters, pictures, anything that's kind of intel that can help you, all right, and give you information more about the enemy, all right? So radios, notes, maps, stuff like that. And you're gonna go squeeze these pockets, right? And you're gonna see if you can feel anything. This guy has pockets on his shoulders. I can obviously feel there's something in there. It's a piece of paper. And it's a, his love letter to his girlfriend that might have some information in there that we could use against our enemy, depending on how good their OPSEC is, right? Here, I'll feel something else because I'm squeezing his shoulder pocket. And he has a phone. Phone's great. You carry Intel pictures, stuff like that. You never know. So throw it in your sensitive items bag. Squeeze his chest pockets if he's got them. All right. You obviously see he has a radio. Pull that out. Throw it into your sensitive item bag. He's got magazines ammo that we he's using the same uh platform we are so take the ammo magazines help you in your conquest all right he's got a front pouch on his his kit and what do we got in here looks like we got some maps all right map with some uh you know uh, marks on it for locations and a larger area map all right that's another sensitive item what we want to be looking for all right he's got chest pockets condom i don't know what he's going to do with that besides uh have a busting nuts all right that pocket's clear all right check underneath the shirt all right nothing there time to feel up his cock yeah, feel his cock. All right, he's got a belt on. You want to look underneath belts. People store information in their, in, on the inside of the belt sometimes. Probably want to remove his belt if you can. All right, and then you're going to make your way down, squeezing and feeling these pockets, seeing if you feel anything. Put your hands in there. You might miss something, All right? This guy's not a crackhead, so we probably don't have to worry about getting stabbed by needles or anything he's got a notebook all right he's got some stuff in there throw that in your sensitive items bag all right, we got something in his pocket here another notebook all right and we got ourselves another another letter oh or something it's a list of wanted people that he's looking for all right this is all information you want to keep, notebooks and stuff like that. If it looks important, throw it in your sensitive items bag. All right. What if? What about his boots? His boots? Yeah. If he's got shoes, my dummy doesn't. Take them off. Look underneath the soles. Make sure there's nothing in there. All right. Now, there's if you got it, you're gonna have to check the back side of them too. So you're gonna want to roll them over. 
make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, I missed, forgot in his pocket here. He has a GPS. Now, GPSs, you, you may or may not want to grab because they continue tracking if they're not turned off or properly. Um, you don't kill the uh, power to them. So they'll continue tracking. And, they, and if they log into account like Garmin's, you can track where the Garmin is gone by logging into your account. So you may want to be careful with taking these. So if you do, make sure they're completely powered off so you can take them with you, right? Sensitive items bag. Plus, you can check where they've been too by doing that, all right? Now, to roll them over, you could go from the side and try and roll them over, which that requires a lot of effort. Or you could, one of the methods I know is you cross their legs and roll them over and you'll use that that twisting motion to uh, rotate their hips and make it easier for to roll over depending on how much shit they have on them you may have to cut something off or have someone help you out all right so he's gonna i'm gonna show you guys that this does work on an actual body so you're gonna go limp all right so you can roll them by crossing their feet all right and rotating them all right so it works both ways back and forth so just try to get their knees to cross and then have them just twist you know they'll roll all right it's a good tip for the bedroom too <laughs> But we already made sure he's dead. All right, squeeze his back pockets. Make sure there's nothing in there. All right, we have a wallet. Then we just found his ID so we know who he is. Maybe where he lives, depending on who he is. And he's got some money. Another sensitive item you might have. So just going down and checking it. Now, when you're done with them, you want to take their pants, pull them down, and take their shirt if you can and we're gonna roll them back over <laughs> dick up and you're gonna lift it up and try to pull it over their face so this what we're doing this way so we can mark them that he's been cleared so if you have if you're operating and you're taking territory and you want to let every, uh, your teammates know that this body's already been clear. You can mark them this way by pulling their shirt over their face and pulling their pants down. And either you can uh, choose to mark them with their blood with an X with your hand if you choose to, or you can just leave them like this. If you're in a, if you're operating in a, a occupied zone that you're not in control of, you may want to hide the body and some of the stuff that, uh, you don't you're not taking with you so you can move them in a heavily wooded area you could kick stuff over their trash that they have so if you got a lot of leaves in the area you can cover their their trash or the stuff you're not taking with their leaves all right in question why would you why would you cover it up so if it's really bright like say you got like a lot of paper or something on the ground or reflective chip bag insides you cover it up so it's not someone's not gonna stumble across it like looking around you and then you see them out in the distance or you see that reflection from the trash or that bright white on the ground so it leaves them less entitled to investigate farther all right and then after your engagement you want to do this all try to get this done in 10 to 15 minutes try not to go over that depending on local response time or the uh the element that you engage maybe they put a call out or something like that so you don't want to get off the x before artillery shells are hitting you right after you made your engagement all right so once you got the sensitive items bag done you're gonna throw it on get the fuck out of here and get this intel back to your intelligence guys or if you're in a smaller group maybe look over it yourself and see what you can gather to help inflict farther damage onto your enemy.
If you want more shit hits the fan tips, deals on gear, and current news that will make you a better Minuteman, join our Telegram group. We got over 100 subscribers. It's good for networking. Uh, we commonly post news stories. We try to keep it bite sized so it's not too much to read. And uh, sometimes we send memes there, but go ahead and join that. It's free. We're trying to get as many people in there because fuck YouTube, basically.